I love my kids uh, very much. I'm very close to my children. And uh, is like, is this the last thought that I want Yuri to remember? The thought of his dad on the ground, dead, full of blood. That was not the thought I wanted to be remembered for. So I put down, uh, I put down the gun. Now I realized something because I had the chance to talk to other people. Some are suicide survivors. Shit, talaga nag-attempt sila, no? Nag-attempt sila, and then nabuhay sila. Like I said, it's only by the grace of God na nabuhay yan. So it's only by the grace of God na hindi ko nila yung trigger niyan. Pero siguro, parang God's giving us a last chance. Ari, last chance pa to. Diba? Put the thought in your head. So something we have in common with the uh, people who have tried to take the lives of some suicide survivors is that on the last second, a split second, you will think of a loved one. Uh, in one of our talks, kasama ko si Gab uh, Valenciano. He's the son, son of Gary Valenciano, no? And uh, he attempted three times. You'll see this. He's open about it, ano? And uh, in one of his attempts, he overdosed on pills. As soon as he overdosed on pills, na isip niya kaagad yung daddy niya and yung mommy niya. Right away, after taking those pills, called up Gary. And he said, Dad, I overdosed on pills. Come home. So immediately, Gary uh, rushes home and brings Gab to the hospital. And they had to pump his stomach to clear him of all that one. My friend was a suicide survivor. Um, actually, I brought him up to Baguio and he worked uh, with us for, for quite some time. Uh, he hanged himself. And I was asking him, I go, in those moments that you hanged yourself, bago nag-snap yung kable, buti nag-snap yung kable, I go, what was on your mind? Naisip niya yung mga anak niya. Uh, but then again, like I said, our minds are not coherent during the time. So some of you would probably say, Manong Ari, why? You have five beautiful children. You have a loving wife. Your business are successful. You have what a lot of people don't have. Why did you try to take your life? Like I said, pag tumawid na sa red line na yun, yun sa isip namin, why not? Sa amen, it's the logical thing to do. We want to escape the pain. So, ito lang yung only way out. So, like I said, again, Suicide is preventable. Parents, please take note. If your children show signs and symptoms of this, agapan yun na. Oh, isa pang short na kwento. No? I once attended, there was a World Suicide Prevention Day. And uh, during the talk, uh, there were three mothers who were there. And they were carrying during their talks, they were carrying pictures of their sons or mm. daughter, ages 13, 15, and 17. What they had in common, they lost the children to suicide and their regrets. They didn't take the children seriously. Some were acting up already. Some actually told them, key word that you will hear, hindi ko na kaya ma. Dad, pagod na po ako. They didn't take it seriously. When they passed away, then they found out, totoo pala yung depression, hindi pala nag inarte yung anak ko. And then the regret sets in. Please don't be one of the parents that comes to me and, you know, asks for consolation and what to do because I have come across so much and for every single parent that I meet. It's always... It's always heartbreaking. Masakit sa akin because I know uh, it's preventable. Uh, so parents or children, diba? you may have friends also, watch out for the signs and symptoms. Another advice 
to the parent because in the case of uh, Sheila who lost Renzo lahat ng barkada ni Renzo alam nila that he was suffering from depression alam nila na suicidal si Renzo as a matter of fact that was his second attempt already the thing is the barkada goes to the house walang nagkwento sa mom or dad niya na tito tita Diba? I think you should get Renzo tracked or talk to him. So, parents, kaibigan ninyo yung mga kaibigan ng mga anak nyo. Get to know them because there's a very good chance that your children will not tell you but they will tell their friends. So, if you know them, diba? if you know them, there's a good chance you're close, they will tell you that. And kayo, yung mga kabarkada nyo, if you have friends who are suffering uh, from this, most especially pag suicidal, ikwento nyo sa mga magulang nila na may pinagdadaanan nila because you can save their lives. Itong mga kaibigan ni Renzo, after he took his life, all of them had to seek therapy. Why? Nagsisisi sila because they knew na kung sinabi nila kay Sheila, that they could have done something and they could have saved their life. So don't make that uh, don't make that happen. Maski sabihin nila, pare, pag sinabi mo kay mommy and daddy, hindi na tayo magkaibigan. Oo nga, tignan mo. Hindi nga sinabi. Pero nawala yung kaibigan nila. And again. Oh, by the way, another thing, if you have a family member who takes their life, there is a 50% chance somebody else in your family is going to take their life also. So, if somebody in your family takes your life for suicide, here, seek help also from a mental health professional because you will need counseling, most especially your children. So, please, here again is another one. Seek help from a mental health uh, professional. Wow, I... I... I've heard this the second time, but I still cannot get over it. And now, I, now I'm breaking down again. So being a parent, I understand where, where that these words are coming from, Manong Ari. And I, as you know, I've already lost a child. So for me, um, our, you know, getting to know our children really well deep down is truly important and very pivotal in their lives. And I have, from what you have mentioned, it's very crucial to have an open communication between parents and children. Tama yung sinabi mo, kailangan kaibiganin talaga natin sila. Thank you for reminding us, not just the audience, but to me, being a parent, that this is truly important. Thank you, thank you very much. So, all right, which leads me to the next question, Manong Manu Ari. Because you've mentioned a while ago that there are some people who think that this disorder can be a part of, you know, just seeking attention, parang naging inarte lang, o kaya naman is just a sign of weakness of character, o baka naman eh, ulang lang ng pananalig sa Diyos, yung mga ganito. So there are myths and misconceptions. So can you please enlighten us and um, explain to us ano nga ba yung totoo, ano nga ba yung hindi? Okay. Again, let me pick up from where you left. Uh, buti na nabanggit mo yung sinasabi. Baka kulang lang sa pananalig sa Diyos. Because one of the more common myths is that um, having a mental health disorder is a spiritual crisis. Linawin ko muna to before we get into this, okay? Because baka sabihin niyo, oh, sinasabi niyan kasi hindi naman religious yan. So, let's make this clear. 
I'm a devout Catholic. I hear Mass every Sundays. Uh, well, now, not because of the pandemic, you know. Hear Mass every Sundays, um, during Fridays. Because we're traditional Catholic. Eh? Yung, it's a branch of Catholicism where we hear the Latin Mass. They have a small chapel be- uh, behind the cathedral where they have this. They say the Latin Mass. The priest, yung nakatalikod, as they say, uh, when we receive communion, nakaluhod kami and nasa dila lang. The women, yung nakabelo. So, if you guys are still young, tunon nyo sa mga lola niya, mga lolo at lola. Prior to 1970, uh, ito yung misa na pinupuntahan uh, nila. So, I'm not anti-Catholic. I'm not anti-religion. Like I said, I, I do rosary. I do novenas, pray before and after meal, okay? So, let's just make this clear. Now, it is not a spiritual crisis. And we encounter this very often. Like when they find out na may, um, na may mental health disorder ako, what do they say? Ari, di ba? Uh, dasal ka lang. And uh, you're going to get better. Strengthen your faith in God. Sa akin, how much more? Like, ganun ba ako? Makasalanan? When you tell me that I have to pray? Is it... Uh, there are some people, they don't even believe in God. Uh, they're atheists or even agnostics who doubt they. But they don't have a disorder. It has nothing to do with your religion. That's why in any um, mental facility, some call it mental hospital or psychiatric facility, you will not see any uh, religious or spiritual scriptures like the Bible for the Catholics, the Quran for the Muslims, or uh, let's say the Bhagavad Gita for the Hindus, or the Tripitaka of the, the Buddhists, you will not find any there because it is not a spiritual crisis. You cannot, if you're there, you're inside, you cannot go there, read those scriptures, and find consolation. Delicado nga yun eh. When you read those scriptures, you might just misinterpret it. And that's the danger of it. You will realize, like, you know, ah, God said, I will never leave you or forsake you. But let me share this with you. I had that verse by the side of my bed when God said, this is Hebrews, I forgot um, where there, but he said, it says, you know, and God said, I shall never leave you, neither shall I forsake you. Inaway ko si God. Bakit? I was telling him, not only did you leave me, not only did you forsake me, but you are punishing me and you are torturing me. Ano ba yung ginawa ko? Ganyan ba ako kasamang tao to deserve what you're doing to me? Just to realize, oh, nga, there's something wrong with my head. It, God didn't give that, uh, that. God didn't give that to me. He intentionally said, here, Ari, suffer. Diba? Magdusa ka kasi makasalanan ka. Diba? Kulang lang. Magro-rosaryo ka. Uh, like five decades. Hindi. Dapat 50 decades. Hindi ganun. I realized afterwards, nung medyo matino na yung pag-iisip ko, God didn't give that to me. But now, God is using me as a, um, how do you call this? He's using me to help other people who are undergoing this or to make people realize that they have this. Now, one of the people I respect the most because they are very spiritual and very prayerful are Pastors. But last year, there was a pastor. His name was Pastor Jared Wilson. And he was the pastor of a mega church. Mega church meaning he had about 15,000 followers. Malakayon. Okay. But Pastor Jared Wilson took his life uh, by suicide. And it caused a steer of hornet, steer the hornet's nest within the religious community. Why? Kasi akala ng mga tao, because religyoso ka, madasal ka, hindi ka tatamaan ng disorder. But that is the farthest thing from the truth. Uh, Jen, can you run the clip? Is it working already? 
and it tried to run that piece. 30 year old megachurch pastor Jared Wilson has died by suicide. Wilson was an associate pastor at the Harvest Christian Fellowship Church in Riverside, California, which has a congregation of 15,000 for the past 18 months. He was vocal about mental health and his own battle with depression. A statement from the church notes, quote, he was vibrant, positive, and was always serving and helping others. He wanted to especially help those who were dealing with suicidal thoughts. Wilson is survived by his wife, Julianne, and his sons, Denim and Finch. Julianne Harris posted a tribute to her husband on Instagram, saying he was, quote, loving, giving, kind-hearted, encouraging, handsome, hilarious, giving the shirt off his back husband. Together, the couple founded an outreach program for people dealing with depression and suicidal ideation called Anthem of Hope. One day before he died, Wilson tweeted that loving Jesus can't always be seen as a cure for mental health issues, before adding, quote, but that doesn't mean Jesus doesn't offer us companionship and comfort. He always does that. So take note, galing na mismo to sa bibig ng pastor. This was a day before he died where he said, you know, having Jesus in your life doesn't always mean this will prevent you from getting a mental health disorder. Clarion, why? Because it's not a spiritual crisis. Now, I'm not saying don't pray, okay, or don't believe in God, because there is a proper place and time for prayer. After seeking help from a mental health professional, they will give you treatment, psychotherapy, or medications, then please, it might... Pray or hang on to your faith. Whoever you believe in, pray because this will help you. Okay, This will strengthen you also during those darkest nights, during those darkest moments, during those times where your brain will tell you you are useless, take your life, diba? don't listen. Hang on to your faith. Pray to whoever supreme being you believe in. And and uh, another myth is that uh, sadness, because people use sadness or depression as, uh, as the same way that they use depression. Like, for example, nagpost ka sa Facebook, walang nag-like. Ay, depressed ako. Nako, lalo na pag in-unfriend ka, bleed up ka. Nako, super depressed ako. Di ba? Kasi in-unfriend ako. Or, let's say you're in school. And then you failed your exam. Bumagsak ako, di ba? Depressed ako. Or let's say, nag-asa, nag-away kayo ng, uh, I don't know what you, this generation calls, yung boyfriend or girlfriend. Ano, shota ba? Or bata? <laughs> I don't know. Let's say, nag-away kayo ng, ng boyfriend or girlfriend niyo, di ba? Nag-away kami ng sweetheart ko, di ba? Uh, depressed ako. But what happens if you post something and then a dami nag-like the next day. Or it went viral. Instantly. Uy, dami nag-like. Happy ka na. Hindi ka na depressed, as you're saying. Or nag ka na exam. Pumasa ka. Wow. Like in UP. Oh, no. Wow. Happy ka na. Or nag a ka ng boyfriend niyo or asawa niyo. Or let's say, Anton brings you a bouquet of roses. Ay, di ba? Okay na tayo, babe. Di ba? We're fine. Instantly, you're happy. Why? Because that is sadness. And that sadness is an emotion. And emotions can change diba, in the blink of an eye. Unlike depression. Depression is a disease. Or as the professional calls it, clinical depression. Hindi basta nawawala to. You cannot snap out of it. You cannot give a person roses or a gift. Okay na siya. Like I said, this will continue on for several weeks or months. That's why you have to seek mental health. So, what you feel when you say you're normally depressed in a situation, you probably feel frustrated. You feel low. You feel, you know, you're after some say, you know, you're in the blues. But this is not the real depression or clinical depression. The exception to this rule is when you are grieving because of a loved one. Now, when you grieve because of a loved one, uh, like personally, uh, like for me, the worst, the worst loss you can have is a loss of a child, a son or a daughter. Like they say, 
parent should never uh, should never bury the child. But that kind of loss, diba? that lingers on for more than two weeks. That can go on for months. Okay? But it doesn't mean na depressed ka. Because grieving is, you know, that's different. Mahaba yung proseso yan. And you have to go to the process. Okay? So that is different. Pero pag tuloy-tuloy yan, one, two, three, four years, you're not able to move on. It disrupts your daily life. Seek help because that may be something else already. Sorry to bring you back to the time, Jen. It's okay. It happens. It happens. So, okay. Uh, I just had to talk about grieving him because I've heard that before na manong, eh, paano, di ba? Namatay yung parents ko, yung kaibigan ko. Malungkot ako ng kanyang katagal, ilang buwan na, di ba? So, exception yung grieving, that's an exception. Gosh, I'm talking this whole time, namumugtoy yung matawa mo yan. <laughs> Real talk talaga. <laughs> Real talk. Um, unedited, uncensored, raw. Exactly. Uh, very raw. Even the emotions raw. are... The emotions are very raw. So, Manong Ali, the next myth, before we go yes. to the next myth, kasi nga, yung grieving kasi is, um, I, I went through it and um, I cannot say that I, I am over it kasi once in a while, I I still remember my son and I still remember the pain. But it is very enlightening that you have even the comparison between depression and kasi, although I grieve, I have grieved and I'm still grieving, but it does not necessarily disrupt my daily routine. So I am I am enlightened. Napakaganda ng comparison mo ng grieving at saka depression. So thank you for that. So the next myth is that uh, depression has a face. So normally, kala ng tao, ganito yung face ng depression. Eh? Or like the picture that you see. You know, the picture that you see. You know, disheveled yung mukha, malungkot, di ba? But this can also be the face of depression. It could be a smiling face. Diba? Smiling, ganyan. But sa likod ng ngiti na yan, ay isang tao na nagdutusa na probably baka gusto na rin magpakamatay. People who are suffering from a mental health disorder, depression, anxiety, or others are very good at keeping or hiding their emotions. Most especially yung mga, uh, yung mga lalaki. Bakit? Kasi hindi tinatanggap ng lipunan natin yung mga lalaki na mahina. Dapat yung mga lalaki, macho, brusko ka dapat, di ba? <laughs> hindi pwedeng yung umiiyak ka. Na umiiyak ka, mahina yung loob mo, pusong mamun ka, di ba? Hindi pwede yun. And that's why it's more difficult for men to process their emotions because they don't, they don't let it out. Yung mga kalalakihan dyan, mensahe ko sa inyo, it's okay to cry. It's okay to bring out your emotions. Crying, bring out your emotions, processing it, doesn't make you less of a man. It makes you more human. And that's what we do. And uh, another reason why we uh, hide uh, our emotions because when you go out and say with our barkada, ay ng barkada yung, uh, wow, grabe ka naman, Ari. Napaka-negative mo. Di ba? Napaka-downer mo. Ang drama. Yung, di ba? Yung aura mo, di ba? Oo, oh, ang sama ng aura mo. Nakaka-isa. Correct. Di ba? Di ba? So, dapat, di ba? Happy-happy ka. Happy-happy happy lang. Yes, happy-happy lang. Pero deep inside, di ba? You are totally wounded. You are totally scarred, di ba? And your brain's not functioning uh, properly. Pero ikaw, trying effort pa rin. Um... Masaklap pa nun? Why, diba? Masaklap pa nun pag masabihan kang bading, gano'n, di ba? Yung mga, alam mo na. Di ba? Uh, di ba? Ay, napaka-drama mo naman si bakla. Ari, di ba? Oh, di ba? Ay, umiyak si Manong Ari, di ba? Bakla yan, mahina siya. Well, actually, di ba? Personally, di ba? I've heard names uh, left and right, whether yun may tama, may sira, di ba? Baleo, may saya, di ba? Iyakin or something. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, 
why? Because for me, a lot of people, you cannot stop people from saying what they want to say. You can't. Uh, you can't control that. Pag pinakinggan mo, yung opinion ng may ibang tao tungkol sa'yo, mababaliw ka lang. Yeah. Diba? And <laughs> never make the opinion of other people define who you are. Because the fine. only person who can define who you are is you. Never give anyone the key to your emotions. Never let them have control over your emotions. They some they say something and you feel offended. No, don't. Diba? Especially if mga tao na to, they don't put food on your table. They don't put the uh, roof over your head. They don't put uh, money in your pockets. They have no bearing in your life. Diba? So, bakit mo sila papakinggan? Diba? Forget those people. Diba? Forget those people. Only you can determine diba? your personality. Ako to. Diba? Correct. So, On point. Let's read. Okay. Maraming salamat. For the sake of those who may not be aware of... Um, things that they should and should not say to people who have depression. So, ano nga ba yung dapat gawin? How do do how should they handle and how uh, what are the things that they should and should not uh, say or do to people suffering from depression? Okay, uh for one Jen, I'm glad that uh, like you said you're careful with what you say, you watch you know, your words, especially you now you're sensitive to the illnesses of others. You know what? If there were more people like you, that would lessen the stigma and that would hurt. So things to say and that to say to people who are going through a difficult uh, time. This may be your loved one, your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, or your friends. Iba? Give them space. Okay? Give them space. Don't be there like, you know, always by their side to bother them. And uh, take note of this. I believe in the saying, If you do not understand my silence, you will not understand my words. Okay? Note, very often, they do not want to talk or they're very quiet or they isolate themselves. So what do you do? Watch them. Take note of the things that they used to do before that they're no longer doing. Kung dati, palaging masaya yan, palaging nakatawa, ngayon hindi na. Kung before, outgoing, ngayon palaging isolated, That's a sign already. Okay? And if they do want to talk, take note of this. There's a reason why God gave us two ears and a mouth. Because we're supposed to listen twice as much as we talk. Let them talk. Let them talk and do not invalidate anything they say. So pag sinabi nila na, you know, uh, malungkot ako, hindi ko na kaya. Don't say, hindi, kaya mo yan. Hindi ka malungko, mm. di ba? Never invalidate how they're feeling, mm-hmm. di ba? Because that's how they feel. You cannot tell them that they feel otherwise. Eh, yun ang pinagdadaanan nila eh. Okay? So, be there for them. If they want to talk, they will. If they don't, then give them space. In my case, I didn't want to talk. I wanted to be left alone. We have a room here that's separate from you know, the other rooms. That's where I normally stay. When Raquel sees that I'm that I lock myself in the room, she knows that there's something wrong. It makes her nervous. I just tell her, "Don't worry, I won't kill myself." Although I really I don't promise that, because seriously, I really can't promise it. But I tell her, "You know, I'll be okay." Diba? And just leave me alone. Knowing that she's somewhere around the house mm-hmm. is good enough uh, for me already. If there's somebody I want to talk to or, you know, somebody to hug, that would be Yuri. Siya yung pa yung parang energizer bunny ko. Ngayon, maski 6'2 na siya, di ba? And I feel bad, di ba? Amoy pao saying, come here! Uh, <laughs> Stay beside daddy, di ba? The bunso. Um, oh, oh, the lifesaver. <laughs> the lifesaver ko. Siya yung energizer bunny ko. Malaya siya, di ba? He's now 6'2. Oh my God, he's taller than me already. Okay. Oh, oh the God. next one. Let them know that uh, you're there for them. Let them know, I'm, I'm here for you. Uh, I'm here for you. If you need help, andito lang, andito lang ako. But don't bother them. You're always there. Katabi mo. No. Diba? Let them, give them space, like I said. Let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care. 
uh, you care for them. Remember, I mentioned earlier, you know, low self-esteem. We feel unloved. We feel uh, na nobody cares about us. Na mas mabuti na pag wala kami sa mundo nito, di ba? So let them know that you care for them, that you love for them. Let them know that it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. Like you mentioned earlier, Jen, I think you brought this up where you said, uh, wala silang ginawa. Hindi nila kasalanan, kaya meron silang disorder. And that is so true. And you also mentioned that it's not you know, being weak. It, it's not. So let them know it's not your fault. Uh, let's move to the next slide. It's not a burden. Let them know that uh, they're not a burden. Let them know that um, they're not a burden. Hindi sila pampabigat. Uh, in my case, I'm supposed to be the breadwinner of the family, but during an episode, because I still get episodes every so often, it's like 12 years, every now and then, and uh, I can't do my duties, like especially providing for my family, you know? And uh, Raquel, so they're looking, I'll take care of the business, Muna. Uh, take your break, you know, rest ka lang. So let them know they're not a burden. Tell them to take their time because it takes time to heal. Uh, if you have, if you underwent an operation, let's say uh, triple bypass, di ba, sa puso, it takes months to heal that thing. What more for the brain? Mm. The brain is the most complicated organ in the human body and it gets damaged. So it takes time to heal. It takes time to feel better. So don't rush the person. Let them know to hang in there. This sounds better in Tagalog. In English, it sounds like, you know, go hang yourself in there. Hindi, hindi ganun na. In Tagalog, this sounds better. It's, you know, we, in the group, we say, you know, kapit ka lang. Huwag kang bumitaw. Normally, we say this when a person is like saying na hindi ko na kaya. Di ba, bibigay na ako. We always say this, kapit ka lang. Diba? Or they say, you know, tawagan kita, diba? gusto kwento. So let them know, diba? hang in there that you're there for them. Let them know that you are not alone. One of the worst feelings uh, that you can have is, um, okay, let me clarify this. I've been using words like uh, baliw, may sira, crazy. I'm not here to offend anybody, okay? For me, I use those words. I just throw out those words. That's how I refer to myself. You can call me that. And it's not meant to offend. Talking tears of endearment, yeah, right? terms of endearment. Yeah. Like when we hold like uh, gatherings, you know, we hold gatherings muna. And then cancer support group, we go, Sino dito may sira? Yeah! Diba? Oh, ano sira nyo? Sino dito bipolar? Yeah! Classmates! Diba? So, for us, you know, within the group, hey, that's perfectly, yeah. you know, that, that's perfectly fine. So please don't get offended. I'm not out there to insult anybody. These are terms I use myself. Okay. So going back to that, one of the worst feelings that you can have uh, is that you're the only one who's suffering. At wala kang kasama. So when I first had my first, when I had my first episode, feeling ko yung ako lang yung baliw sa mundo. I'm the only one who's suffering. And it, it felt you feel alone, you're in pain, you're in agony, and you feel alone. And that's terrible. Until I, I don't know how I came across a friend, I found out who was also suffering from depression. So I called him up and it felt so good to be able to talk to somebody. And like I said, only somebody, yeah, who truly understand. Not only do they sympathize, they mm. can empathize. They know how you feel because they're going through the same pain. So I got... Oh my gosh, hindi lang pala ako yung baliw sa mundo. May kasama ako. It felt so good. <laughs> Weird, no? Uh, anyway, so aside from that, um, this, was, this was years ago, no? Right? Yeah. So I like ngayon, may Facebook, di ba? may groups kayo doon, or uh, I don't know what you call them. Ano? Pero during that time, wala. The only thing that we had was Yahoo groups. And... Um, I discovered a group called Depression Fighters Philippines. And this was like a support group in Manila. So I was chatting with them. I go, sige, baba ako Manila. So, you know, it would be good to gather. But I called, you know, this, this katribo ko to. Katribo ko to. Lahat yan. May sira, may tama, eh, di ba? So we got together. There were 10 of us. We all, uh, I went, traveled all the way down to Manila. We met some Mac Cafe, sa Glorieta. 
And it felt so good to be with people of the same tribe, di ba? But they were laughing and everything. Kanya-kanyang disorder yan. They're saying, uy, tignan mo yung mga yan. Tatawa-tawa. Kala mo, walang sira. Pero di ba? <laughs> Ganyan yan. <laughs> so, it, was, it was a getting to know you thing. Yes. But it was fun, okay? And so during the getting to know you, natanong ko lang sa kanila, di ba? So where did you graduate from? Uh, believe it or not, uh, there were 10 of us. Out of the 10, nine of us graduated from the University of the Philippines. The other one graduated from Harvard. I don't know if that's related, so I didn't send Kylie to UP. I sent her to Ateneo. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that was the story. It was fun being uh, with a group. So let them know diba, that, um, that you're not alone. Diba? You're not alone. Okay. Ayan. So, syempre, um, with all these uh, awareness, it is important that people know how to um, handle these kinds of uh, this kind of depression or this kind of illness. So, what are the steps of recovery or what are the steps to recovery? Can you share to us how can they go through it? How should what should they do? Okay. So, personally, this is what I did and what a lot of the people from our support groups uh, do. The first step is awareness and, and self-acceptance. Dapat tanggapin nyo not that, there's something, not that there's something wrong with you because it is only when you accept that there is something wrong will you do something about it. Because if you're in denial, it's like, why should I see a psychiatrist? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with me naman. Why should I talk to a psychologist or a counselor? Normal lang naman yung nararamdaman ko. Maskit tatlong buwan ka na ubiyakin something, di ba? Uh, so the first step, di ba, uh, is self-awareness, uh, self-acceptance, and awareness. And once you've accepted that there's something wrong with you, you must seek professional help. Now, mm-hmm. seek help from somebody who is certified, a certified professional. So when it comes to diagnosis, okay, only a psychiatrist or a clinical psychologist, meaning a psychologist who has finished a four-year course, the postgraduate ng four years, ng PhD, then that makes them qualified to diagnose. Okay? Seek for diagnosis and then afterwards, they will recommend a course of treatment. Follow the course of treatment. Now, this can be a combination of medications and or psychotherapy or talk therapy. Meaning, it's possible that may disorder ka, but medicines will not be necessary. It depends on your disorder or kung gano ka bigat, let's say depression. Madaming level yun eh. Diba? Uh, if you're still functional, pwede pa. You can go to psychotherapy or talk therapy. But if, for example, you're, you can't go out, you're in bed already, you can't do anything, you don't have the will to do anything, this is where medications come in. By the way, when it comes to medications uh, for mental health, walang medications sa mental health yung one size fits all. So, hindi yung, okay, sampu kayo na may depression. Isa is... <laughs> Pare-pareho. <laughs> Pare-pareho yung gamot. Kasi depression. Parang may headache ako. Parang sa ito mo. Biogestic. <laughs> ah, tanggal. Hindi ganun yon. Uh-huh. If there are 10 of you suffering from depression, chances are that 10 of you have 10 different combinations. Normally, there's about 2 or 3 combinations yan eh. And it takes time to find. Parang, you can say it's trial and error eh. It's trial and error. So the psychiatrist will give you the meds. You'll try it out, see how it works. If it's not working, then change. Go back and then see how it works again. After two weeks, one or two weeks, go back again. So you have to be patient. Find the right medications. Like uh, recently, I came from my psychiatrist because mm-hmm. I needed new medications. One of my sleep medications was no longer being produced. So it goes, uh, okay, so let's try this RE. Mm-hmm. So binigay sa akin, di ba? Gave it to me. So I took it. Oh my gosh, for the next two days, bangag ako. It's like, ah, this is not going to work, di ba? So I'm scheduling my psychiatrist. I'm, I'm, I'm trying it. I'll try other combinations. 
But afterwards, if it's not working, I'll go back and say, Doc, sinubuhan ko na to. From one half to one fourth to one eighth, kinumbine ko with my other medications. Ayaw talaga. But that's how it is. See if it works. If it doesn't work, go back to your psychiatrist. Don't lose hope. Okay? Oh, and also, when it comes to medication, there's a lot of people ganito eh. Uh, they have a disorder and then suddenly, oh, okay na ako. I feel better. They stop medication. This is not like yung headache or fever. Take, take. Fever, wala nang fever, tama na. Hindi. This is something that's different. If you feel better, diba? consult your psychiatrist and they will determine whether, ah, pwede na natin bawasan to. Let's taper this hanggang hindi mo na kailangan. Okay? Pwede yon. But there are some disorders like mine, uh, the medicines that I'm taking, um, I'll be taking that uh, forever. So yes, may forever. Pagdating, uh, pagdating sa gamot. Now, some people don't want to take medications because they say, ay, ayoko maggamot kasi alam mo magiging addicted ako dyan eh. Or I'll become dependent on it. Ganito lang yon. Some of you, you probably have your parents who are probably taking maintenance medication because they're high blood or there's something wrong with their hearts. Or they're taking maintenance medication because they have high blood sugar. They're probably taking something like metformin. Now, if they're taking this medication for maintenance, do you tell your mom and dad, Ma, dad, tigilan nyo na yung heart meds yun na yan. Uh, addicted na kayo eh. Diba? Diba? Do you do that? No, you don't. Why? That's not an addiction. That's a necessity for life. Kailangan yun. It's the same thing for us. There are some things or some disorders where the medication is maintenance. And my disorder is one of those, one of those disorders na maintenance na forever na yan. Okay? So the next thing you do in order to get better is uh, rest. Give yourself tons of rest. If you must sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. Go on a vacation, take a break. Uh, you just have to give yourself time. The next one is avoid triggers. There is something or some things you know, that caused, that triggered your episode. Iwasan mo yan. If that person that you're, you know, caused your trigger, palaging negative kasi sila kasama mo, even if it's your family, okay? Mm -hmm. Even if it's your family and they are your trigger, find a way na iwasan sila. Because the most important person in your life is you. Why? If you, you take, for example, Jen, no? if you don't take care of yourself and something happens to you, Jen, who is going to take care of your kids? Mm -hmm. Who is going to take care of Anton? Yeah. Wala. So you take care of yourself so you can take care of your loved ones. For those who have ridden in an airplane, the instructions, when the mask falls, put it on yourself first yes. and then put it on your child or whoever is with you. Diba? Attend to yourself first. Okay? This is self-care. This is self-love. Take care of yourself so you can take care of your loved ones. The next one that you can do is exercise. You don't have to go to a gym. Okay, it's not necessary because the minimum uh, amount of exercise needed is 15 minutes brisk walking. Hindi parang lakad sa bola. We're talking brisk walking enough to elevate your heart rate a bit. 15 minutes every day, five days a week. That's all you need. So, kung yung excuse nyo is manong ari, wala akong time eh. Putang na loob, 15 minutos lang yun. You spend two hours or more on your Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and heaven knows where, di ba? Mm -hmm. 15 minutes to stay healthy. This is good for you mentally and also physically, okay? They both go together. Remember, there is no health without mental health. So physical, mental health, important, John. And the last one here is having a positive attitude. And I cannot overemphasize how important having a positive attitude or having a positive mindset is. Because if you have, if you have a positive mindset, when problems come, you have a better way of looking at it. 
mental health disorders, there is normally a genetic disposition. Eh. Uh, you are predisposed sometimes. But does not mean kung yung nanay and tatay mo, meron sila, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. Katulad rin to ng other physical na disorders. Just because your mom or dad has diabetes, it doesn't mean magkakaroon ka. It just makes you predisposed to it. Now, that is really, uh, normally, it's not uh, within your control. But the second thing is environmental. Having a positive attitude over the things that happen to you, that is within your control. Like, uh, let's go to this current pandemic. Some people perceive this pandemic, it's like, wow, they're imprisoned. Being imprisoned, they have lost a lot of things. They they have lost their freedom. They can't go out to their barcada. They can't just go to the gym. Uh, they can't just take, make la coacha, no? Um, it's a loss. And a loss is a trigger. Na walan ka ng isang bagay. Na walang ka ng mahal sa buhay. These are, these are triggers. That's why nowadays, there's a lot of people who are suffering from depression and um and anxiety. I came from my psychiatrist actually twice yata, within the last month or so. Eh. And uh, she was saying, ang taas ng, nag, nag-increase talaga yung mga patients, uh, yung patients niya. And uh, for those who had it, mas lumala. That's why she was surprised. And I went like, oh, are you alive? I go, yeah. <laughs> because I was in a pretty good disposition. Here's one thing I learned, di ba? It's because of having a positive attitude. I never perceived this lockdown as something that's negative. As a matter of fact, I perceived this lockdown as a blessing because it gave me a chance to do the things that I didn't have the chance to do before. Like I have books that I haven't read. It's been you know, on my shelf for the longest time. Uh, there are some skills I wanted to, uh, <clears throat> skills that I wanted to learn. Like uh, I've learned uh, like speed reading. Uh, I was reading about 200, 250 words per minute. That's average. Now I'm doing about 600 words uh, per minute. Right? So it's learning new skills and new talents. This is part of having a positive attitude. Now let me share you some habits that you can develop like during this time. Yes, The first one is self-leadership. And then self-leadership. This is when you take control of your life. You stop being a victim of your environment, of situations, or your past. Because there are some, di ba, they blame their parents pa. Kung minsan, like, 30 na, binibintahan pa rin yung magulang. Kasi alam mo, nung bata ako, eh, hindi ako paborito ng magulang ko eh. Or hindi ako binigyan ng manika. Di ba? Or, in, you know, uh, deprived ako nung uh, bata ko. Stop blaming your parents. Uh, up to a certain age, siguro, if you're 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, pwede pa siguro. But a time will come where you take responsibility for your life already. Because whatever may have happened in the past, tapos na yun. Okay? And remember this, whatever happened to you in the past, or even currently in the future, uh, your past doesn't equal your future. Ang iyong nakaraan ay hindi katumbas ng iyong hinaharap. Hindi dahil nung sa nakaraan mo, pobre kayo, naghihirap ka, it doesn't mean, ay, ganito na ako habang buhay. Hindi. You have control of your life now. So you can determine what to do with it. Now, you may say, Manong Ari, pero may mga bagay na nangyayari sa amin na hindi na namin kontrolado. Yes, I know that. But life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you respond to it. Itong pandemic na to, di ba? This is beyond our control. But some people are taking it in a good way. Again, I have developed a positive attitude. It took a while, though. But nevertheless, I look at it uh, in a good way. So take control uh, of your life. Here's another one. Note that you are not in competition with anybody else. Pag ka, Pag dumating ka sa huling hantungan mo, hindi nila sasabihin, for example, uh, ako nawala. Ay, uh, si Ari nawala. Pero alam mo, mas mayaman yung kapatid niya eh. Kasi doktor yun. 
or uh, mas magaling magtrabaho, mas magaling speaker, they will not say that. What they will remember are the things that you did for them. And that is important. But even more important, what they will remember is how you made them feel, the things that you have done for them. So do not compare yourself with anybody else because we are all different. So when you open your Facebook, diba? don't compare. Ay, ang ganda naman ng buhay yan. Palagi nila nagtutul. Uy, tignan mo siya. Oh, palaging ayos yung buhok niya. Diba? Don't compare yourself because the pictures that you see on Facebook are carefully curated pictures. They must have taken a hundred pictures and chose the best looking ones. Exactly. <laughs> diba? Nako, oh. Especially, alam mo, yung mga yes. profile pic, ladies, Totoo, yung mga yeah. profile oh pic God. nyo, diba? Pag kinidnap kayo, <laughs> and then yung pinakita ko sa police, yung profile <laughs> pic nyo, hindi kayo mahanap. Bakit? Hindi mo na sa diba? <laughs> so, Uh, please don't compare to whatever you see there because people, it doesn't reflect the whole life of people. They always keep out the negative side. Diba? It's, always, it's always to impress. Diba? That's what they do. It's always to impress. Well, it's a good thing. You want to show it? By all means, do. Another thing, back to Facebook, do not compare timeline because there are some of us we see, ay, nag-graduate na ako. Uy, nag-graduate yung classmate ko. Sabi ko, nag-graduate. Ay, may trabaho na siya. Next thing you know, uy, na-promote siya. Uy, uh-huh. mayaman na siya. Uh-huh. Uy, kinasal na siya, oh. And then, oh, may, may anak na siya. Ako, andito pa lang ako. Makakalungkot. Kanya-kanyang timeline yan. Each to his, to his own time. Like they say, di ba? Uh, to your in own, how do you say it? In God's own time. Di ba? It will happen to you. Kanya-kanyang oras yan. So, do not compare uh, timelines. So, where did it come from? <laughs> yeah. Frustrate ka lang pag... Yeah, you'll pag get frustrated. Kong... Don't do that. Don't do that. And... Uh, yung, ano, Manong Ari, diba? Sometimes the likes define your emotion. <laughs> yes. Diba? Like I said earlier, diba? Hindi nag-like. Ay, depressed ako. Diba? Or... Nako, uh, takatatong likes lang to. Depressed Correct. ako. Correct. Ano ba Diba? Oh, tagal natin din nag-like, di ba? Ang friend ko nga to. <laughs> di ba? O, oh, tawa ka. Pero yun, totoo yun, ano? 100% way, okay. real. Here's something else. When it comes to um, social media and uh, these things. Normally, when you guys wake up in the morning, what is the first thing you do? I can bet. The first thing you do is you pick up your phone. You pick up your phone and then check in Facebook or check on Instagram, or perhaps read the news. And more often that lado na pag news yan, di ba? It's so negative. Here's what I believe. Win the morning, win the day. When you wake up in the morning, do not touch your phone. Perhaps what you can do, di ba, is thank God. If you don't believe in God, the least you could do is think about the things that you are grateful for. Wow, I'm still alive. I have the chance to do things again. And you can determine, okay? Set your mind. Today is going to be a great day. Remember, you control your life. You are not a victim of your environment. The environment will not dictate to you about how you're going to feel. So, maski maulan, it doesn't matter. Wow, it's raining. Great, diba? We get you know, a reservoir of water. Okay to, diba? Water the plants. Okay to. So when you wake up in the morning, condition yourself. Uh, personally, ako, I do meditation, diba? Then I do exercises and condition my mind is going to be greater and I visualize, diba? In my mind, how my day is going to be. With the news, put social media, Uh, aside first, it's time for yourself. Diba? It's time for yourself and to condition how you want how you want your day to be. Okay? Diba? And yeah, that being grateful, uh, when you do that, uh, you focus on the positive. Eh? Diba? That's why it's positive attitude. And again, you decide, yes, I know there's some bad things. Let, let them tayo. Diba? There are bad things that happen to us. But nevertheless, there are still good things that happen to us. And you can choose. It's up to you. You decide. Uh, you choose. Diba? 
And um, another one, how's the saying goes, diba? As you think, so shall you be. So if you think in your mind, diba? I am going to have a good day, then you will have a good day. But if you think in your mind, I can be a great speaker, diba? then you will be a great speaker. In your mind, if you say, I alam mo, bobo ako eh. Ay, slow ako. Ay, walang pakinabang ako. You hear this, kuminsan, galing sa friends mo, uh, galing sa parents mo pa. And if you believe that, and you keep on hearing that, that's how you'll turn out to be. So, guard, diba? Stand guard in the doors of your mind. Be careful what you let in. Because as you think, that's how you're going to turn out to be. I don't care if people think you're conceited and you say, you know what? I'm beautiful. I look good. Diba? Who cares? Because if you feel that, because it's not always how you look physically. True beauty comes from within and it's how you feel. Diba? You know, some, you see some people, they're not really physically all that pretty, pero ang lakas ng appeal nila, ang lakas ng charm nila, that comes from within, that starts here. Okay, now that is more important. Sabi nga nila, what your mind can conceive, your body achieve. Yes. Yes. And uh, sabi ko, you are very fitting as an inspirational speaker because you emulate what you talk about. Diba? Kalagang you practice what you preach. Kaya sabi ko, ah, <laughs> kaya manong ari. That's a very big responsibility on your shoulder. <laughs> Practicing oh. what you preach. Diba? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's the only way to, to speak. Tonight. You have to be sincere. and You have to be mm. able to speak from your heart. Otherwise, diba, you'd be a fake. And like, I'm open. I'm raw with my emotions because it's things that I feel. And uh, again, uh, walk your talk. Another attitude that I wish people would develop is um, passion and purpose. Hindi tayo nilika ng Diyos para langhapin lang yung hangin at ubusin yung kalikasan na binigay niya. All of us have a purpose in life. So kung narinig nyo to na pinagsabihan kayo, wala kayong kwenta. Wala kayong pakinabang. That is not true. Because each and every one of us has a purpose in life. Now, if you're asking me, Manong Ari, how do we determine what our purpose is? Ano ba yung pakay ko sa buhay? Ba't ba ko nilagay ng Diyos rito? Here's one way of finding out. Determine what your passion is. What is the thing that you are passionate about? What is the thing that you can do day in and day out? What is the thing you can do na maski hindi ka bayaran, gagawin mo? What is the thing na maski pagod ka, gagawin mo ko rin? Because you are passionate about this. And when you're passionate about this, you'll keep on doing it. For one, your purpose will always be to be of service to people. And that's what you should remember, to be of service to people and to add value to people. It is only when you do these things through your passion and being of service to other people will you be fulfilled. Now, I know a lot of people who have it made, they're happy, they're rich, pero may kulang. Hindi sila fulfilled. And that's where being of service to other people adding value to other people comes in. And that's why I said, ba, when you leave this world, what's important is people will still talk about you and they will remember the things that you have done for them. But more importantly, how you made them feel. So find your passion and you'll find your purpose. Worth it, ba? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Manung Ari, those words are the exact uh, description of you because of your passion and love with what you do. 
and it has led to your advocacies and yeah. your unwavering uh you know unwavering pursuit in helping other people so you, i think you have reached that point if you know the maslow's hierarchy of needs I guess you must have reached that self-actualization stage <laughs> <laughs> where you are being fulfilled and you feel fulfilled by helping other people and giving It took a while to find. It took a while to find. Then, you know, I had to go through all that pain and suffering. But, uh, you know, I, know. I came across a, a speaker or a, uh, yeah, he was a speaker. And he was saying, what is the one thing in your life if they were to take away everything mm-hmm. from you if they were to take away everything that you have what is the thing that will still remain and you can still say ganito pa rin ako so for me if it was like the business pag nawala yung mga negosyo ko ngayon wala na yung pagkatao ko na ari the businessman but you take away my businesses and then say maski wala na akong pera wala na akong damit at all i can still say I'm still Ari, the mental health advocate. That's when you know you've found what your passion or what your mission in life is. Thank you very much for, for that wonderful sharing. And then the interview was really both emotional and enlightening. And at the same, it's the same time it has brought awareness and education, not just to me and definitely to our viewers. Now, would you like to share with us how can they connect with you or is there a group that they can um, um, go to in order to uh, seek like, uh, you know, belongingness with the group? Okay. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's really bad when you, like, you feel that you're the only one, uh, the only one who's going through difficult times. This is where you can have a support group. But before that, you know, Preferably, preferably the people uh, that you go to first are your family. But there's this misconception that dapat family ang support group mo. Eh. But there are just some times when you're not close to your family and that it's easier for you to open up to a friend, to a cousin, a tito or tita, somebody who, are, who knows you more emotionally, somebody who you believe will understand you more. So if you want to open up to somebody, then go to that person. If it's your mom and dad or, you know, your, your husband, wife, then so be it. But if not, the person who you believe that you're closest to uh, and you want to open up, open up to this person. If you need to join a support group where you can be with other people, uh, you can talk to other people who are going through the same difficulties, like people from our tribe. Please check out Facebook. Uh, you can search for Mental Health Support Group by Kylie Verzosa. Currently, we're about 5,600 already inside the group. There's a waiting list to get in because you have to request. This is a closed group. Huh? This is a closed group. So when you come in, it's a safe space for people like us where you can be yourself. You talk about what you're going through, your pain, your, your suffering, and nobody's going to judge you because we are all in the same boat there. Pare-pareho lang yung pinagdadaanan natin. Iba-ibang label lang ipinataw sa atin. Bipolar, depression, anxiety, OCD. But all of us are going through something. So feel, you know, feel free to open up. And uh, I hope you do join the group. But be patient. Uh, there's a waiting list. There are almost 500 every week. So it takes about maybe a month or two before you can finally get in. But uh, be patient, okay? You will get in there. Thank you for this group. Indeed, there's some hope for people who are going through depression. And then it, it's very important for people to uh, feel they belong to a certain group. Yes. Who will understand them. Yes, who will right, understand right. them and who so knows what they're going through. Kaya napaka-importante nitong support group na to. And thank you very much for maintaining this and having this for everyone who really needs help. Thank Ayan, you to Kylie. So, it was Kylie after you set up that... Uh, oh. It was Kylie who set up the support group. And then uh, we're the ones who maintain it. Uh, there's several admins uh, there who take care of uh, everybody in the group. We have to maintain 
you know, peace and harmony sa grupo. You put 5,000 people in a group exactly. with a disorder. Different minds. Can you imagine and... <laughs> how chaotic that is? Diba? So you have admins like me and some other okay. people who try to police the group and maintain the harmony, harmony. Uh, inside that group. Yes. And be in line with the objective of your group, which is to help. Yes. True. Before we go to your parting message, by the way, we need to have the question and answer portion. Kahit dalawang question lang. Okay. So, manong Ari. Yan, konting game lang naman tayo. Ayan, game time. Just <laughs> snap out of okay, the yeah. serious thing. Okay. Okay. Ayan. Game time. Oh, game na. Pwede ka sumayaw muna na ganyan? Yeah. Yan, yan. Pwede ka bang kumata huh? muna? No, no, let's keep that one. Okay. Wala. Wala. Uh, okay, sige. Uh, All right. So, katanungan. Ang, two questions, ano? Yes, two questions lang. Ang reward would be... Yung isa, gal- yung isa galing sa akin, yung isa galing sa'yo. Alright, game. Okay. Game. Oh, sige. So, for the first question, ang ating mga viewers dyan, syempre, your reward would be a weaved mask from, yes, from everything Baguio. Very important nowadays, yes. people. Yes, yes. So, it would be mask from everything Baguio. And you can claim it at... Uh, UB Square, Baguio City here in General Luna Road. Ayan. So, well, you just have to uh, message Mom Shi Jen Facebook page. Ito po yan. Kung nakikita niyo po dito. Ayan. That's the name of my page. Just message us at sabihin niyo na nanalo kayo. Diyan sa group chat po, mag-uunahan lang po kayo dyan kung sino po yung unang makasagot ng tanong, sila po yung mananalo. So for the first question, Manong Ari, okay. take it away. Ang unang katanungan, mm-hmm. uh, okay. what is my mental health disorder? Okay. Again, ulitin ko, ano ang aking mental health disorder? Question number one. So, sa mga nakikinig talaga dyan, throughout this session, I'm sure you understood and you remember kung ano yung kanyang mental health, mental health disorder. So, Manong Ari, Tagalog ba to? English ba to? Uh, English. You know what? Come to think about it, Jen. No? I haven't come across yun? the Tagalog doon. Hmm. Oh, I haven't yet. Yeah, no? Let me research uh, that one. Sige, kasi yung kung depression, depression, ah, in Tagalog, uh-huh. pa- parang uh-huh. pareho lang, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh, I'll look na for Tagalog term for that thing. For Sige, the first I'll, word. I'll let you know. Marami na yun, so kaya nyo na yan. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Now for the next question, Manong Ari, the reward would be? Um, For your prize, you get the uh, raisin bread. What? Care of Raquel's Cuisine. <laughs> ah. Hindi pala niya alam, no? Tapos bigla nga. <laughs> She will now. Okay. So, Care of Raquel's Cuisine, Raisin Bread. Whoever wins it, by the way, the best way to eat this, di ba? Slice it. Lagay sa oven toaster. Lagyan ng butter kung may Queensland ka or Elevere. The best. Hmm. Nag-imas nga eh. Nag-imas. Try that. <laughs> Nag-imas okay. kapsat. Sige, try it out. Okay. okay. Sige. For the, let's see for a challenging uh, question. Yeah, more challenging kasi more ano yung reward mo. <laughs> oh, sige. Hirapan nyo. Okay, sige. Oh, okay, game. sige. For the second question, Kylie has two disorders. Name her two disorders. Okay? Si Kylie may dalawang disorder. Ano yung dalawang disorder niya? And Sa if you get that, you, uh, hmm. ang kapalit noon ay Raisin Bread galing sa Raquel's Cuisine, the best Raisin Bread in the city. Ah? <laughs> Pwede ka nang mag-co-host. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, konting clue naman, Manong Ari. Ano yung first letter nung first item? First disorder. Okay. The, first, okay, first uh, the first disorder starts with the letter B. Okay? D as in uh, dead. <laughs> What a word, di ba? So, D as in dog. And the second disorder starts with the letter uh, A. A as in apple. <laughs> letter A. So, okay. A, okay. A as in apple. That is the, that is the second one. Okay? Right. So, I guess napaka-obvious na nung sagot. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, whoever listening there, kayang-kaya nyo, sumagot na kayo dyan sa baba at mag-unahan wow. na. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, congratulations to our winners. And this is uh, just a part of our show to, you know, to make everyone laugh. And of course, for people to look forward to the ending of this show and these prizes as well. So, thank you very much. And syempre, hindi pwedeng mag-end tayo, Manong Ari, na wala kang parting message sa ating mga viewers. I know you have shared much, but I'm pretty sure your parting message would really and close this talk. All right, go. Take it away. Okay. Um, for anything else, Jen, maraming salamat uh, for giving uh, for being given the chance and opportunity to to share. And uh, for those who are watching, I hope that you have learned something. Um, <coughs> learned something sa usapan namin, sa kwentuhan namin. Mm-hmm. Jen and sana subaybayan nyo yung kanyang show uh, this is I believe every every week okay um, that's my final or parting words when somebody dies of uh, pancreatic can- uh, pancreatic cancer an organ fails his pancreas do you blame the person uh, no you don't do you sympathize with the person yes you do when somebody dies of a heart attack, an organ fails his heart. Do you sympathize with the person? Yes, you do. Um, do you blame the person? No, you don't. When somebody takes his life by suicide, do you blame the person? Yes, you do. Very often, I have seen posts when nagpakamatay yung isang tao. They blame the person. What do they say? Ay, nagpakamatay yan dahil mahina sila eh. Iba, ano ba? Kunting bagay lang yan. Bumagsak lang sa subject. Ganyan na. Or broken-hearted. Nagpakamatay na siya. Ay, mahina sila. Duwag sila. Weak yung character nila. Do not blame the person. Because just like cancer, pancreatic um, uh, cancer disorder, the brain, our brain, failed, like I said, during those moments that we decide to take our life, our brain is not functioning properly. So wag nyo kaming bintangan in the same way na hindi nyo binintangan yung mga iba who are suffering from other physical disorders. Bear in mind that depression is not a weakness. It is not a character flaw. It is not God punishing you for things that you have done. And neither is it karma finally catching up with you. It is not being lazy. It is not being slow. It is not looking for attention. Tila ba kulang kami sa pansin or nagaarte, nagaarte lang kami. Na tila bang kathalang ng amin pag-iisip itong pinagdadaanan namin. At choice namin at pinili namin na magdusa ng ganito. Depression, anxiety, mental health disorders, it is a real disease. It is a surreal as any other physical disease like cancer, tuberculosis, or diabetes. And it's not something that we make up in our heads. And you cannot will away or pray away a mental health disorder in the same manner that you cannot will away or pray away cancer, diabetes, or tuberculosis. Palitan natin ating pananaw tungkol sa pangkaisipan, pangkalusugan. Ito ay totoong karamdaman, katulad ng ibang karamdaman na pisikal. It is only when we change our perception of what mental health is, that it is a real disease, can we start to tackle the problems of mental health that pervade society and the stigma that surrounds it. Ako po si Manong Ari, maraming salamat at magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Maraming salamat, Manong Ari. Masyado speechless na ako kasi <laughs> that was a very deep uh, that was a very, very deep parting message coming from you. So thank you very much um, from the bottom of my heart. For one, I keep on saying this for entrusting your story to Mom Shi Jen, this talk show, and the fact that you had spared time. So that means how you are 
you are that dedicated to this advocacy, sparing your time regardless of your mood and regardless of your <laughs> regardless state of, of mind. your state of <laughs> mind. So you have shared your time and your passion and your life story. And thank you very much. And I salute you. I salute your family. I salute Kylie, Manang Raquel, um, Chelsea, and the children for being there for, for you and for for. For the rest of your life. I'm sure my forever, and ang forever niyan, hindi lang yung gamot mo, ang forever niyan, is yung love within your family. Thank you very much. And please do continue doing what you're doing because it's going to help a lot of people and it's going to save lives. Thank you. Salamat. Marami talaga. So ladies Yan, and gentlemen. Marami salamat. Ladies and gentlemen, today has been a very fruitful day. I'm um, sharing, listening to Manong Ari's life story. Life is about perception and it is very important that we make the corrections of how we perceive things and it starts from within. If we understand things, we are em- empathetic of things, then we will understand the people who are going through these depressions. And it is also important that we are aware and be being, by being aware, regardless if you're having the depression or you know of people who has these um, illnesses, then it is important that uh, you make them aware, especially the normies that na pinag-usapan nga natin ni Manong Ari. Napaka-importante that we help in making other people aware of this depression and this illness. Let us stop the stigma. Let us help these people understand what is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think that this video is relevant and important and you think that Manong Ari's story can help save a life, then please do share it. Thank you very much, Manong Ari. Maraming salamat po. I truly appreciate Jen, it. Thank you. Pasensya na pinaiyak kita. Pasensya na rin at umiyak ako. <laughs> okay. It's na nga tayo eh. Okay. At least they know it's real talk. Di ba? <laughs> exactly. Real talk. Pano Ari, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you very much. Jen, thank you so much too. Uh, my regards to Anton and your beautiful uh, children. Take care and uh, hey, stay healthy. Okay? Bye. Good night, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Um, how should normal people or um, non-depressed people? Tama ba yung term na ginamit ko? Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah. Th- this is how we call it, ano? Uh, within the group, yeah. diba? So ano we call ba? ourselves, Tawag. yung mga may sira, may tama. <laughs> yung mga normal, we call them the normies. Normies. Is, <laughs> yung term namin, ang normies. Again, no offense to the normal people, but that's how we refer to you, normies, yeah. diba? Okay. So yun, so you have discussed to us how the normies should um, handle people with sira. Uh, okay, no offend. Okay. No offend. Okay. Yep, none taken, trust me. Okay. None taken. Okay, so yun nga. So, yung, mga, then, yung mga nanood, uh, wag mo offend yun. This is just okay, how we talk. Ma- uh, with Jen. It wasn't, it's not meant to offend uh, anybody. Exactly. But you know what, ano? there's a reason also why I like... Um, using these words. Mm. The, in, the more you use it, the more people hear it, the more you destig- you take away exactly. uh, the stigma. Okay? Yes. Like if you go back perhaps uh, 20, 30 years ago, di ba? Mm. Uh, pag sinayin mong bakla, insulto yun eh. Di ba? Unlike now, there are some proud, ay, bakla ako. Ah, ah, proud sila. So something like that, you keep on using the word. Eventually, you know, the pain that it causes, it becomes, you know, takes it away, it becomes Thinking a adaptive. normal thing already. Yes. Yeah, yes. correct. That's good way of putting it. Even women, we use the word na bakla to refer to each other, to friends. Diba? Hi, yeah. bakla. Yung ganyan. Parang kayo correct, naman, correct. hi, sira. <laughs> oh, diba, diba? Oi, sira yan, diba? So sa amin, like, hey, that's fine. Like, I remember we were doing this event and I was saying something like, ay, baka masiraan pa ako dyan. And they go, ay, manong ari, may sira ka na. <laughs> ah, sorry, mas masisiraan pala ako. Oh, okay. No offense. <laughs>